What's up, guys? DCK here, hitting you up with a uh, little video, just touching up on things in general. I honestly have zero plans going to this, but it's the return of the blue shirt of doom. Um, <laughs> I was thinking, I was thinking right before I turned the camera on, just like I'm wearing the blue shirt. Maybe I should talk about TNA. I actually will talk a little bit about TNA, but um, what did I want to hit up first? What point do I want to hit up first? Uh, let's talk WWE uh, real quick. King of the Ring, they got nothing done. Uh, King of the Ring, they could have, you know, done something. But, uh, not really. They just set up Sheamus to feud with Triple H. So, that really helps. Except for the fact that they were already doing that. Honestly. The only reason Sheamus, that I would agree with Sheamus winning the King of the Ring, if Triple H was to return, and if they were to have the Triple H Sheamus confrontation that night, that night. Um, other than that, is I, you could have just kept going with the fact that I, I, I ended Triple H's career. I'm, I look like a lobster. Just. I don't know. Oh, I'm made of mayonnaise. Now I'm getting to Wade Barrett. Oh, why, why ballot territory there? Um, so it looks like Wade Barrett won't be getting the WWE title anytime soon. Because they're totally... They're, uh, they couldn't keep Cena off TV for a little bit, really. And, like, they're having him come back all the time. But they're not even making it, like... Jesus, the out the fucking outsiders were more convincing. They were buying tickets and security was like legitimately stopping them. Like I like the one thing that I'm okay with that happened this past Friday. The fact that when Cena said um from Monday, um, like um uh, when Cena said, Oh, security's in no hurry to stop me because they were attacked by you on that first night Which makes sense. Um, but, I mean, he's fired. He's trespassing. You, you, unless he gets a ticket and then does a run-in and then, then does a run-in and then runs the fuck away, that makes sense. I mean, the fucking Outsiders NWO did that and people do that all the time. I mean, you just did this same story with Chris fucking Jer like yeah like, I think it was Chris Jericho when he was buying tickets to get into Raw because he I think it was when he was getting kicked off because of the tag team thing like ah uh, the the I know Cena's your top guy but you gotta you gotta make us you gotta emphasize a little bit more the fact that he's fucking fired he's supposed to not be in employ in a part of your company anymore. He should be, you know. He should he should be working a hell of a lot harder and having a lot more trouble trying to get his hands on the fucking nexus. If you're gonna bring him back like the very next week or whatever, have him try to get back in and fail. Have him try to get back in and fail. Have that happen for weeks, and then he finally gets his hands on like fucking Heath Slater or something. Have him finally get his hands on someone. And just make that and stretch and that's how you stretch it out to the fucking rumble or even wrestlemania whenever you want to do the cena barrett match you just have him for weeks try to get in so he can be he can be appearing on tv but you can't i mean it's literally like he tries to get in he can't have a thing where he buys a ticket he still can't get his hands on make us you know like build it can't make us can't wait for cena to get his hands on nexus and then he starts getting his hands on nexus but he can only get them one at a time and then he gets his hands on Barrett. And there you go. But no. No, 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 no. They're just going to do the joke. Where Cena attacks everyone all the time. And then Barrett's just like, Oh, I, I'll give you your job and I'll give you a match. Oh, I want you back so I can kill you with the... I don't know. I don't know what the hell. Um... What do I want to, uh, yeah. And then there's the Miz's title reign, which already got off to an iffy start against Jerry the King Lawler. I think what kind of kills that is that 
like, God, as 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 much you know, I mean, Flair was a hopeful to win his TLC match with Edge, but it's not like Edge won because fucking Michael Cole interfered. You could have Jerry Lawler do a table bump. Jerry can do a ta ta table bump. I'm pretty sure Jerry. I'm pretty sure Jerry's not that broken down. Where he can just fall through a table. That's all he has to do. Fall through a fucking gimmicked table. But no, 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 no. All right. And they they could have made Daniel Bryan, John Morrison, or Alberto Del Rio, but they didn't. Whatever. And they and they're probably not going to do a Miz Morrison feud at all. Nonetheless, have Morrison go over. They're not even going to do a Miz Morrison feud, which are which is already set up. They're not going to do a Miz Daniel Bryan feud, which is already set up. I mean, Miz's title reign isn't gonna probably isn't gonna last long enough to where you can have a program with Morrison and a program with Daniel Bryan, which are set up, which have been set up for a while. Like Daniel Bryan, like da like he's Daniel Bryan has been set up to face the Miz for the championship because of the past couple months. Morrison is set up because of the past couple of years. I just don't know. Ah, refreshing. Um, let's talk about TNA. Um, I heard that Impact last night wasn't awful. That's what I heard from reports. Um, of the actual TV show, not just like spoilers, but of the actual TV, TV show. Like, like wow, I didn't utterly hate one part of the show. And they said that uh, things were pretty much building. Um, they had apparently a pretty good, um four-way tag with, what was it, Machine Guns, Beer Money, Ink, Ink, uh, Generation Me, which could be a cool, like, pay-per-view thing, but it kind of works to set up what's happened. Um, they're still putting over Sarita Strong, which I enjoy, because I love me some Sarita. Um, but then again, I don't like Madison Rain. I mean, being in these, uh, non-title matches and not coming out on top, or, I don't know, it's weird. Um, but yeah, the card on Sunday, despite, I mean, it, despite the gimmicks, uh, and despite, you know, how TNA is, it's a pretty good card. It's, uh, it's actually, actually looked quite good. Um, I mean, come on, you got Motors and Machine Guns and Generation Me and Full Metal Mayhem, which could, if they give it any sort of time, could be just insanity. Um, Beer Money versus Ink Ink number one contenders match could be a nice. That could be just a nice. Uh, maybe have that as the opener. I I put that as the opener. I would put the tag title Full Metal Mayhem up on the card a bit. It's your fucking title. Put it a little higher on the card. Um, and you'll get Jay Lethal and Rob, Robbie E, who will probably put on another decent match. Um, for the X title. At least. At least, uh, I don't like the shore. I don't like the shore gimmick. But at least they're going through with it, and they're doing it. Which is kind of weird for to say that about TNA. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they're doing it. And, uh, let's see. Because they've invested so much in it. Um, you'll have Tara and Mickey James again. I don't have a problem with that. I don't think too many people do. Aside from the fact that it's gimmicked, but with the false count anywhere, but what have you. Pope versus the best casket match probably won't be that good. Pope, this is just a way to keep a mortal on TV doing things in big f f manner. Uh, Joe and Jarrett, I, I hope Joe kills Jarrett. I hope Joe, whether he wins or loses on Sunday at least gets elevated a bit cuz he should he should be uh, he should be used a lot better he should be used a lot bigger uh, but what have you uh, Douglas Williams and AJ Styles could be a sl if they give that any sort of time that could be the sleeper match of the night um, I love 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 Doug Williams incredibly well-rounded wrestler um, really nice on the mic uh, and a a AJ is AJ. AJ is TNA. Um, and they're going to put on some good stuff. I, ho I 
I remember making a video a while back um, about titles and how this TV title could actually be something good, um, which it hasn't really been, but uh, this Sunday could change if you put the title on, I mean, give Doug Williams a title. I, do you know what I say? Just give Doug Williams the title. Have AJ worry about bigger things, and then have Doug Williams have Doug Williams be the guy to build that title. I think Doug Williams could be the guy to where um, he could he could be the guy as much as I mean AJ should have been the guy to build that title up, but uh, he's busy with other shit. Have Doug Williams be the guy to build that title up. Maybe you know have him have him defend it against. Um, have him maybe do a rematch with AJ and then defend it against other Fortune guys. Have him defend it against some Immortal guys. Um, some of the guys in Immortal. And and also mix in some X Division guys who usually aren't considered for heavyweight titles. Mix that in there. TV should be this weird mix between some X Division guys getting shots at it and some heavyweight guys getting shot at it. That's what it should be and a guy like Doug Williams could make that happen. Um, uh... Let me think, what else? And then there's the main event, Morgan and Hardy. I know I probably skipped a few matches. Um, this is going to be Morgan and Hardy. That'll be okay, I'm sure. Like the first one. But they got the whole Mr. Uh, Mr. Anderson thing. Who, I mean, it's a shame that, I mean, I'm not the, I'm not the biggest uh, Mr. Anderson fan, but uh, I like him, but I don't think he's that. Uh, I don't think he's quite as good good as others think so um because it's a shame that that was the deal like they were going to make mr anderson be the guy going up against uh hardy and immortal even though in my opinion it should be mr anderson who's in an immortal i think that mr anderson would fit that a little bit better but whatever fit the heel role a bit better but uh, hardy could be a decent heel i mean i don't agree with him turning heel but he could actually turn out to be a somewhat decent heel um, and they'll do some funny junk, and, you know, this is all, I mean, so much of this is like, I mean, Anderson's gonna look to get that title shot as soon as he's gonna try and get a title shot as soon as he's healthy, they're gonna bring back Angle, um, to feud with Jarrett and Immortal, uh, probably also gonna, uh, go after Hardy as well. I mean, Angle... Look at the faces you got against uh, Immortal and Fortune. You'll get uh, Joe Pope, Angle, Morgan. I throw Williams in there. I throw RVD in there. You get these six guys. Uh, who else? Who else would be in there? Who else? Um, I'd be like those six guys, and then you got Fortune. Or what's the? Thing? It's like this. Or I don't know. Um, so I don't know what their hand symbol is. Uh, and then you got Fortune, and then you got Hardy, Jarrett, Abyss, and Immortal. Uh, yeah. That could be... I mean, you have a good set of faces and a pretty good set of heels. Even though a lot of the heels might as well be faces and maybe... What, what, and Anderson. So you, imagine... Let me think. Yeah, you could have Anderson, Angle, Joe, Pope, RBD, Morgan, Williams, Seven, On, Fortune, Hardy, Jared, Abyss, Seven. Summer Sam 2010 main event? I don't know. Wow, so I won't be, uh, I might talk about some indie stuff in another video, because I'm running out of time. Because TNA actually didn't, uh, piss me off. They look kind of interesting. They, I mean, they probably won't do nearly what I just said I would like to see happen, but, um, so this was a very rambly vid, but whatever, I'm wearing a nice shirt, and I'm really handsome. Uh, the December beard went, uh, there was a trimming accident that caused it to be uneven, so I just have to start from scratch, guys. Shame. But it's no, but it is December. Happy holidays, y'all. One and a half more weeks of college. Stay classy, everyone.